everybody, I'm Susan Mulvihill. Welcome back to the Vegetable Garden. I have a very special guest today. This is my husband, Bill. He's usually behind the camera. And we are going to do something very cool. We're going to harvest the sweet potato crop. And the reason Bill's here is because this has been his project both this year and last year. Now, as you know, we live in Spokane, Washington, which is about 300 miles east of Seattle. We're in hardiness zone 5B. Most folks who live in zone 5B would never think of growing a sweet potato. And of course, we love a challenge. So can you tell me how this all came about? Well, it, it wasn't really planned. I was, we had that recipe for sweet potatoes casserole. And I was in the grocery store a year ago in the winter and we were picking out organic sweet potatoes. And I just decided, you know, I should give that a try. So I picked up two extra ones that were kind of small and brought them home and put them in a short glass of water on the kitchen windowsill. And that window faces south so it gets winter sun. And right. this was in about February. Mm -hmm. And waited to see what would happen. And it took a while and then after a few weeks some roots started appearing and then some small leaves. And then I figured out, well, I better learn how to grow sweet potatoes if this is going to work. <laughs> I didn't realize that the, the actual part of the plant that I was going to plant wouldn't be the potato itself, but actually the, the roots and the stalks that developed from the eyes of the potato. Right, and that's what they call the slips, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so I had two glasses growing sweet potato slips on the windowsill for February, March, April. And knowing that they, they need warm weather and wouldn't tolerate a frost, it was planned to keep them indoors until June, you know, the end of May, the 1st of June, and then plant them out. So as remember last year, I planted them in a bed in the hoop house to give them extra warmth. Mm -hmm. And we planted them out. The vines were quite vigorous. The plants grew well. Uh, but harvesting them was very difficult because uh, we were using a pitchfork to lift them and most of them came out pretty you know, clean, but the ones that got scraped didn't store very well. Right. So I decided this year I was gonna grow them in pots. And uh, the ones that we grew last year had sweet potatoes with white flesh. And I always liked the, the ones that have the orange yam that they call yams. Yeah. And so I made it a point this last winter to buy one yam. And then I actually used um, some leftovers from the crop the, of the previous years to start a, a couple of white ones. And same thing, started them in February. I did the, in a jar on the windowsill at first. The yam type one didn't take very well to that. It did develop one slip, but it started molding. And so I ended up having to plant that in soil probably at the end of March. Wow. <clears throat> and then I took one of the ones, uh, one of the white ones that we were storing and I planted it in just potting soil just to see if that, if that would work differently. Uh, we got a lot of slips off the ones from the previous year and just one really strong slip from the M type one. Mm -hmm. And in June, I, we had two large plastic pots left over from some landscape trees from years ago that we use around here. And I filled them up pretty much with just straight compost. I just went to, didn't even screen it very much. Just mm -hmm. shoveled it, shoveled them full of compost, planted the slips deep. They're a vine, they, they were pretty long by the 1st of June. And moved them in, the, the greenhouse doesn't get used during the summer. Right. So I moved them into the greenhouse and you can see them behind <laughs> us. They, they sort of took over. Yep. Um, so I'm really anxious to see what we're gonna dump out of the pots today. I'm excited to see because last time we got a lot of potatoes. Some of them were a little on the spindly side. And I realize with a container, you're talking about a confined area. So yeah, I want to see what we're getting. And it's important to know that you should always harvest your sweet potatoes before they get frosted. With regular potatoes, you wait until after they get frosted. So I just wanted to clarify that difference. Well, what do you think? Shall we dive in? 
This is going to be a little more complicated than I thought. I, I'm going to need to clip some of these vines that have wrapped around the table. And I also have the drip tubing that I've used to water these pots all summer that needs to be removed before we can pull these out. It'll be just a few moments here while I get this cleared up and then we'll pull things out. So we're going to uh, put the tarp here. I want to save this compost to reuse next year. And let's just turn this over and see what we get. And I hope there's something in here. <laughs> well, oops, I broke that one already. So there's a pretty good one. not too bad. So these are the white variety, white fleshed ones. And I saw more on the bottom there. There you go. Oh yeah, that looks good. There's a medium one. And here's a little guy. Here's one. He's got a bit of a split. It's cookable, but it won't keep long. And this lovely night crawler lived through the whole summer in the greenhouse. <laughs> and this nice long one there. And another one. Oh, I can still, there's one, oh, and here's one more. This one's a really nice one. There's a lot of roots attached to it. So that's pretty good. They're all reasonably good sized for cooking. So. Okay, I get to help with this one. So this is the one that had the orange yams in. Yeah. We hope. We hope. <laughs> well, there's a little one. Okay. And it's got oh. it's got a bit of a split and it is orange in there. Oh, I wonder what's causing the splitting. Yeah. Well we do have to tease it apart really carefully. Because you right. don't want to break anything. Oh, boy. Ooh. Look. Now we're talking and I feel something in here. You know, the great thing about sweet potatoes and regular potatoes is that it's always like digging for buried treasure. Wow. Yeah. Some really nice earthworms in here. I think you got the big amount there. <laughs> well, That's not more fair. On, there's okay. more in your half. Here's one. There's more in your half right there. <laughs> Ooh, I feel another one. Ooh, there's another one. Ooh. Now that's interesting. Look that, at how it has a more of a brown root. Yeah. Here's a little one. This is so much fun. Oh, here's yeah. one. Oh boy. Look at where this end broke. Nice and orange. Oh, yeah. Those are be great. Oh, oh, look at these. Okay. Yep. I think 
come fresh out of potatoes. Let me get past the basket there. That one and, and this. Okay, so there's the orange ones. And here's the white ones. And not a giant harvest, but it's more sweet potatoes than we would have had if we didn't grow them at all. Exactly. Those are going to be great. Okay, so I almost forgot about these. I was growing some grape tomatoes in pots outside of the greenhouse, and I had extra slips left over, and I couldn't resist just poking them in around the grape tomatoes. The vines weren't real vigorous, but I hope there's a few potatoes in here, so we'll find out. There's something. Boy, those aren't too bad. There's a little guy. So this worked really well. I had grape tomatoes for all of August and part of September, and sweet potatoes out of the same pot. Looks like the tomato root ball here. Yeah, that's. I don't think the. I don't think the sweet potato got into that one. And let's see what this one does. Well, here's another one. Oh my! Look at that. There's some little tiny french fries. You know, it's getting bigger. Ooh, that's a beauty. Yeah. That looks like looks like the crop. Okay. Yeah. Well, what did you think about this year's harvest? Well, I was really hoping for more, um, <laughs> like always. <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> but um, actually, I'm, I'm pleased. It, growing them in pots, they we've, they've came out of the, without being damaged. Mm -hmm. that, that worked well. I, I did break a few. Um, I think next year I will plant more slips in the pots and maybe a few more pots to get a larger harvest. You know, the ones that I'd planted with the tomatoes outside grew just as well as the ones in the greenhouse. So. I don't think there's really need the extra care of being in there, mm -hmm. and it might be easier to keep after them and not, not have such a mess to clean up now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, so you're going to grow more next year, more slips, yep. and perhaps in more pots, yeah, but plant maybe more slips in I think, each pot. I think the plan will be I'll, I'll definitely plant more slips in each pot mm -hmm. and, and maybe one or two more pots, or I'll interplant them with the tomatoes again as well. That, yeah. That worked really good. That was amazing. I didn't think it would work. <laughs> Not that I want to be negative, but it did work. Yep. Well, that is the sweet potato harvest. I am pretty tickled with how it went. I hope you found it interesting, and we really appreciate your watching today. See you next week. Bye.